Alright, um, so uh, hello and welcome to uh, another portrait session. Uh, today we'll be shooting with Gary, chatted up on Instagram and we uh, kind of, uh, I had this idea of doing a Peaky Blinders kind of a shoot, um, which we said, well, it would be interesting to, uh, to try that out. Uh, Gary um, is, is obviously quite experienced. He does uh, uh, design sets uh, and uh, gets productions in place for uh, theater companies. Uh, he keeps traveling around the world. But, so we said, okay, let's get together and um, maybe try out this concept where we're shooting more of 1800s, um, 1800s England. Uh, so we'll be doing a few uh, few different kinds of setups. Um, we're here today in this natural nature reserve in, in the middle of Stockholm. Uh, we'll be doing a few um, um, outdoor kind of scenes here and then uh, we're going into the restaurant later in the day to do some indoor uh, shots. It's a, it's a nice uh, restaurant uh, in the middle of in the, in the middle of the city. So uh, yeah, I'm going to now call in uh, on Gary and uh, Gary. It would be great to to also hear some of your thoughts on this. So it was nice to be approached by Ray. Um, Ray, I think, was quite interested in how I like to dress. I work as a set and costume designer for opera productions, and mm -hmm. as Ray said, I travel around the world doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to to wear traditional men's clothes. Um, I would say that my look is somewhere between an Edwardian gentleman and a 1930s dispatch rider on a, motor, on a motorbike. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of in the area of the kind of Peaky Blinders look, I suppose that's obviously the beginning of the 20th century. Um, I think it's around 1910 to 20s it's shot, uh, or it's, it's set. Um, so, you know, that's really a sort of great period for men's clothing. Um, and obviously there's been a real sort of renaissance in proper tailoring, and a lot of guys are interested now in proper suits, three-piece suits, pocket watches, and things like that, as a result of that PD program. So it's it's nice to participate and help Ray out, and I'm interested to see what he, he creates. Great.